Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. One thing that I've been talking about a lot on my channel is the fact that we need a Linux phone. Now, I know people say, well, Android, it runs on a Linux kernel, but you know, that's really not a Linux phone. And so a lot of people are actually talking about the Librem 5 phone, but most importantly, they're also talking about the disk show that's going to be on there or the operating system that's going to be running on your mobile device. And so one of the big players that's going to be on there is KDE Plasma Mobile. And now if you actually go to the website, you could actually try it out. So if you came here to plasma, you know, hyphen mobile.org, and then you go to getting plasma, you could download a test preview of it. So you come down here to the bottom. This is a neon based ISO image. Go here to learn more. And when you come here, you could see all the different versions. Okay. And so I downloaded the most recent version right here, the ISO file, and it's about one gig. So whatever you download it, it should be one gig and there it is. Okay. And so this is going to be a basically a live USB, so you don't have to install anything, but I'm going to show you how this looks like. Okay. Now you can run this on your virtual machine or you could put on a USB stick. Okay. So I'm going to run it in my virtual machine. So here, let's go ahead and create a new one. I'm going to call it KDE Plasma Mobile. And having this, it's really exciting to me because, you know, if we have this in the future, which, you know, all Linux distros, I think would definitely move towards this. And it's everything that I think it is. It's going to make me extremely happy because that way I will also have Linux on my phone as well. Okay. Now, since this is going to be a live USB, you don't need to install anything, so you don't need a lot of space. Let's just say three gigs, okay? Because it's really not going to be installing anything. So once you got that, go ahead and go to settings, go to your system, processor, make sure you use more than one CPU. If you can, enable that. And then go down here to display, make your video memory all the way to the top. Now, storage, here's the important part here on empty choose where your file is where you downloaded it so here you know choose your virtual optical disk file wherever you downloaded it and then choose that file okay i've already done that so here's the actual file itself the iso file and that's it press ok and now you just go ahead and start it up now this is a very early build so it's extremely buggy and so every now and then this thing might crash so i'm gonna have to restart it okay so let me go ahead and make this full screen and this is running on top of Ubuntu 16.04, as you can see. And it is running on the new Wayland, you know, Windows architecture. So instead of using purely X Windows, it's using Wayland. And so there are some issues with it running in virtual machine. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you that up front. So as you can see here, obviously this is meant for a mobile device. So not everything will work here. Okay. But as you can see, everything's really simple right here. So obviously, here's your phone. Now, Calamari's, this is going to be like the universal installer. Okay, so you could download actual Linux applications just like you would through the Linux Mint Software Manager or Ubuntu Software Manager or any of them. But Calamari's is supposed to combine that from a whole bunch of different distros. Here's the camera and here's the app store. Okay, so these right here they're going to crash i'm just going to be upfront with you but i'm going to go through them anyway so if it does crash i'm going to restart it okay so i'm going to start with the one that doesn't crash first and then i'll move to all these other ones that don't necessarily work okay so here at the bottom before i go further this is to like you know basically close stuff your home this doesn't work and this doesn't work as well okay so i'm clicking on nothing nothing's working okay okay so let's first try out the actual app store so we'll go to discover right here and as you can see, it looks really nice. You know, it's really fast. You see different applications here and all categorized. So if you are used to using a KDE plasma environment, you'll feel really much at home here. And if you do try to actually install some of this software, um, it might not work. So let me try to install this. So it'll give you that error right there. Okay. But as you can see, very easy i really like what they've done so far and like i said if you're using anything else on linux on the desktop this is going to be really familiar to you and I, I that's something that i enjoy 
about how they designed this okay so let's go ahead and close this let me show you calamari's that's supposed to be the universe installer right now it just simply doesn't work it just keeps turning and spinning and nothing happens okay now the camera it works but I'm gonna show you something since this is really made for a mobile device you can't really get back to the main menu or I have not figured out how to do this let me show you what I mean so if I bring up the camera there's the camera you could play around with the menu options here's video picture okay so the only problem is I cannot escape out of this okay so I could press different keyboard combinations escape or whatever or right click but it doesn't work because this is really meant for the actual mobile device so I haven't figured that out so whenever this happens and you're gonna see this a lot I'm gonna have to reset okay okay next up let's look at the phone and when you bring that it look like a normal phone contacts dial pad nothing uh, obviously you can't call anybody yet but you know works just like you would normally expect you know there's a call history so that's pretty sweet so you could close that now let's go ahead and get into the really cool stuff down here you could press that and now more apps okay so the most powerful thing that I really am looking forward to with these Linux phone is you are able to run full Linux applications on here so let me open up Firefox so that's why it's so important that you have that universal installer and everything because whatever programs that you have on Linux you'll be able to install them here and everything just works right here you know so if I typed in Linux Mint boom there it is you know and it's super fast surprisingly check that out you know I'm very very impressed by the speed of this so already right there I'm already like super excited that that works that quickly and this is the full version you know I don't think this is the mobile version at all okay so if you go here let's go ahead and quit okay next up we have Caden which I think is a messaging tool um, unfortunately once again I can't get out because sometimes the menu shows up at the bottom but sometimes it doesn't so whenever this happens I'm gonna have to restart it but I just wanted to show you how it looks like okay so you would log in with your account and then you're good to go there okay so next up we have Krigami gallery let's see if there's anything there and so here I'm not really sure what this is in terms of I'm just thinking this is more like maybe just different theming or different options that you could have okay uh, but I'm not really sure at this point what it really pertains to okay um, I don't know if it pertains to the actual look or whatever it is because there is a different settings as well okay so maybe this is for your image I'm not really sure but that's what that is so um, once again you know you can't get out of this menu because I don't have a way to access it at the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and restart this okay so now we actually have the full-blown terminal if you open up console right here there you go you know everything works like you would expect and this is really sweet once again this is just like you using Linux okay a full-blown desktop okay because this isn't a mobile version so I'm really digging this okay but um this let's go ahead and close this if I do exit sometimes it causes it to crash but in that case it didn't so here is marble maps which is their mapping tool so that's pretty sweet uh, but unfortunately I don't think I'm able to get out of this all right now we have per use which is actually a comic book reader so I'm not sure what you would load here probably some type of uh, comic book file that you would just load up which is cool and then you could close this and here are the settings right here and the settings very similar to full-blown KDE desktop I'm really digging this so everything that you would normally do in a KDE desktop environment it is pretty much all here in the mobile so very familiar and easy to use just like you are really used to check that out so let's go ahead and go back here and now we have spacebar I'm not really sure what that does but well it just crashed okay and here you could take a screenshot and another awesome tool is full-blown VOC so let's go ahead and open that and you have a full-blown VOC media player <laughs> you know I'm really still trying to get used to the fact that I actually have full-blown Linux applications right here on my phone which is so nice okay let's go ahead and try let's quit this one and then we have the V player here 
so you could also search on YouTube as well or browse video files on your computer so it's really fast you know that's one thing that I noticed like when you open up these other full-blown applications or programs they work you know and this is obviously the mobile version of YouTube but I'm really impressed by the speed of this so if they could do this for all the other Linux programs available um, you know through our distro managers or our repositories that would be perfect and so uh, unfortunately I can't exit this without restarting it so okay so that is a tour of KDE Plasma Mobile now right off the bat let me say a few things in terms of what I really enjoyed about this and obviously places where they're still working on so the first thing is I do enjoy the look of this it reminds me so much of KDE desktop the second thing which I think is super important for a lot of Linux users including myself is the fact that I'm able to run these applications which are full-blown applications and they run extremely fast okay Firefox being one of them the other was the YouTube and VLC I'm very impressed by that so once this all works and they get everything worked out you know you'll be able to download programs from your favorite Linux distros their repositories and just install it like you normally would on your desktop and obviously not every program is going to be mobile ready but the simple fact that I could run Linux programs that I normally run on my desktop is absolutely awesome to me okay so you know overall what can I say about KDE Plasma Mobile this is definitely what I'm looking forward to when I'm thinking about Linux on a phone truly Linux on a phone so this really gives me a lot of hope for the future and I do definitely want to thank the team at KDE and the entire Linux community for developing this and you know as always you know if you did want to support them please go to their website you know make some contributions if you can or whether it's monetary or whether it's your time and service and also download this and try it out if you'd like you know there's not a lot here right now but what is here is pretty awesome you know I can't wait for this to finally be completed and then be available for all of us Linux users to download and actually install on our phones so if you had any thoughts on KDE Plasma Mobile you know or the upcoming Purism phone let me know in the comments area below and if you've tried out KDE Plasma Mobile what did you think about it as always if you did enjoy these videos you got value out of them be sure to subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode